This episode of In the Kitchen with Karen was filmed before a live studio audience. Hi everyone and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Karen. So I've been looking at some recipes in my cooking groups and one that keeps showing up is called Lunch Lady Brownies. Do you remember when you were in elementary school and you looked at the menu and on one day it said brownies and you were so excited because they were so yummy? Well, I wonder if this recipe is really going to taste like those brownies that we had back in elementary school. So I thought I would give it a try today. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have not tried this recipe yet. So it's going to be sort of an experiment. Uh, it looks, the ingredients look really good and it seems really easy to make. So we are going to uh, learn this together. So let's get started. So to get started, it says to put one cup of melted butter in a bowl. So I melted two sticks of unsalted butter for about a minute in the microwave. Now it says we're going to need a half a cup of cocoa powder. Mix it for 30 seconds. Now it says to sift two cups of sugar. and two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, now we're gonna add four large eggs. Now we're gonna add four teaspoons of real vanilla extract. And that's it for our ingredients, so now we're gonna mix it up for one minute. Now I'm just going to scrape down my bowl. Okay, that looks good. Now it said the batter should be thick, so it's pretty thick. Take a 9 by 13 pan and line it with aluminum foil. Spray cooking spray on top of the aluminum foil. Now we're going to put in our batter. So while the brownies are cooking in the oven, let's work on the frosting. So we are gonna need three cups of powdered sugar. And I always like to sift my powdered sugar because powdered sugar is notorious for having lumps. And we don't want any lumpy frosting. Okay, now I'm gonna sift in a quarter cup of cocoa. Now, as you can see, there's quite a few lumps in there, so. It's really good if you sift it first. So when you're purchasing uh, unsweetened cocoa powder, I highly recommend that you get a good brand like Ghirardelli or Guitard and don't buy the Hershey's. The Hershey's is really low quality. Uh, it doesn't have the good chocolatey taste like the other two have. Now the other ones are a tiny bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth the extra cost. Now we're gonna add a quarter cup of softened butter. And now it says to add a quarter cup of milk. And our last ingredient, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now we're just gonna mix all this up till it's nice and smooth. Okay, this looks really good, nice and creamy. I think it's just the right consistency. So I have been baking these brownies at 350 degrees and I cooked them for exactly 25 minutes. So it will take anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes, but definitely check on them once it hits 25 minutes. And just stick a knife in there and if it comes out clean, then you'll know they're ready. So it's time to put the frosting on. 
Now I'm just going to dump all this on here at once. So I finished spreading all the frosting on top and it should probably sit for an hour or two before you cut into them but just for time's sake I cut into them now because I wanted to try it. So let's give it a try. It looks super chocolatey. It looks really fudgy. Mmm. You guys, really reminds me of my childhood. Like I said, they're super fudgy, super moist. The frosting's really creamy. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are excellent. So this is dedicated to all those lunch ladies of the past and future. So I hope you guys are gonna give this a try. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.